On the chopping block today is the spot on the wall system. It is a good system, but it's not a great system. It's good because it does uh, avoid a parallel shift that I debunked in other videos. It does more of a radius kind of pivot um, around a central vanishing point. But the problem is the spot is not on the wall. I'm gonna show you the three rail kick system, which is how this shot got popular. But then I'm gonna apply the same concept to a cross corner shot, which it should work, but it's more obvious that spot on the wall is not a good idea. And then I'll show you uh, two just examples of how we should be using a vanishing point. So first and foremost, let me show you the three rail kick. I'm gonna shoot three rails and I'm gonna try to make that hit. I made the hit. Now I was just aiming through diamond five and I was aiming in that way. So then I would look at the wall and say, now I trust this shot. I was actually aiming through the P on the wall. This would be my spot on the wall. Once I make a shot for that pattern, I should be able to aim at that spot from anywhere. So now let's, let's aim a little further up table. Let me aim from seven. I'm gonna aim at the P, try to hit the same power. Well, that didn't work. Some people find this works, but it doesn't always work. And I'm gonna show you why it doesn't work. Let's see, I'm gonna aim at the P. It should make the hit, if that's the correct spot on the wall. Uh, and it should work from kind of extreme angles too, if it's correct. And this is a shot, a lot of people would never shoot a three rail shot into this sort of far rail here. But if you know the spot, it should still work. Let me aim at the spot, spot on the wall, the P. Um, I think I got the wrong spot. Let me just make sure I had the right spot. I'm gonna shoot through five again, through the P, because I, I, this worked. This worked for this shot. No, I have the right spot. No, I have the right spot. But the problem is the spot's not on the wall. Let me show you on the computer why the spot is not on the wall. So what I have here is a pool table with sort of an approximation of the vanishing point for a three rail kick. Now these aren't the exact points, I just sort of set it up quick as an approximation for a demonstration that the spot on the wall is not accurate enough. This vanishing point, according to this diagram, would be the one spot we could aim. This is where all spot, all shots should align. Now, let's say, for example, your room were actually this size. When you line up your shot, let's say you line up through five as I did, and you found a spot on the wall, you'd be aiming at that. Well, that's a very different spot on the wall than if you were further up the table, you should be aiming here, right? So that doesn't work. Now, a lot of people set this up with the corner diamond, uh, so the corner pocket, so that you would be here. And that sort of makes your error a little bit less, but the spot on the wall isn't accurate. It's not there, the spot's there, it's not on the wall. And let's say you were in a like more of a basement room so that you had really tight, uh, tight walls. You can see the spots are way different. You're getting a very different point of aim depending on how far away the wall is. If you were happened to be in a room where the wall lined up exactly where it should be, this would work, but you're really, that's not going to happen. And that would only work for this one shot. All other shots have a different distance from the table. People have come to trust this system because they use it generally to kick a ball that's close to the pocket. Um, where close is actually good enough. When I say close is good enough, they're not actually trying to get the ball to go into the pocket. They really just need to make a to touch a ball that's near the pocket, which doesn't require a dead on hit. You could hit you could miss from there. You could miss you could miss over here and still get the ball in. So a lot of times people are getting really close, which I told you the spot on uh, spot on the wall system is good, but it's not good enough for a regular bank shot. If I'm shooting on the one and I wanna go three rails, if I'm kicking the ball, I just gotta get close. But if I wanna make that one, close isn't good enough. I need a more accurate aim than a spot on the wall. I need to know where to aim. So let me just show you another shot. We're just gonna do a cross corner, five through 2.2. This is my number for, uh, for a cross corner shot. I know this is gonna make the hit all day with a medium speed. Now that I have my line of aim that I trust, I will look at the wall. There's sort of an arched grain in the wood on the door. So that's gonna be my spot on the wall. Theoretically, I should be able to slide up table and aim at that same spot on the wall. My original line of aim was coming way wide on this side of the two. Now theoretically, I should be able to shoot this from anywhere. So let me again aim from somewhere else on the table at the grain on the door. 
I missed on the other side because the spot's not on the wall. This is actually a double distance shot from that spot to about the rail groove is about 40. So actually the spot on the wall or the, the vanishing point should actually be about where I've lined up this little PVC pipe thing. That's the spot I should be aiming at. Let me go again to my five through 2.2. Well, that's fascinating. I'm lined right up with that pipe. But again, if I slide, now notice if I slide over here, I'm not looking at the grain. If I look at that pipe, I'm gonna make the hit. But the cool thing is, I can slide all the way up table and aim at that same spot. So I'm gonna aim at that pipe from here. Let me briefly show you one more example where the spot's not on the wall. If I wanna kick from the side rail into the end rail at the one, my spot's close to where that PVC pipe is. You can see it's really close to the rail. Let me shoot through diamond two. I'm gonna shoot this shot to make the hit on the one. Now if I set this ball again, I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna aim from diamond four now. You can see I'm changing my line of aim, but I'm not changing where I'm aiming at. I'm still aiming at that pipe can make the hit. Well, that was a little interesting, but it made the hit. Now I can line up now from diamond six and still make this hit, aiming at that PVC pipe. So to wrap up, I've grabbed eight different shots from my bank shot library. This is just a couple examples to show that the vanishing point is not on the wall. Here we have the cross corner shot where we had that 40 and then 80. You can see it's about that location. And this is the other shot I had shown where we crossed into the side to make the hit. But sometimes the vanishing point is ridiculously far off in the distance. And sometimes it sort of doesn't seem to line up with anything you would think. Now, there are some cool applications where there is some logic behind it and, and it kind of makes sense where it is. This shot here, I don't know if you noticed, so we had our 40, 80. This is kind of like 40, double 40 to 80. And then it's like another 40, 120. It's almost like double this vanishing point distance from the rail. And it actually ends up being not cross corner, but double cross corner. This line shoots into the top rail down to the bottom side rail and into the top corner for double cross corner. Now, I don't intend to get into how to shoot all these shots in this video. We'll do that in subsequent videos. We'll go into each shot in detail, but this video is just to prove that the spot is not on the wall.